Hey y'all, it's Meg and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something I haven't really done before. So I recently bought a house with my partner and I decided to take to The Sims to decorate our new space. Uh, unfortunately, with The Sims, things are not realistically proportioned. Because of that, I went through several uh, phases in decorating this townhouse that I created as a representation of our new house. So because of that, I am not doing a speed build today. Instead, I'm going to give you a tour of our house in The Sims and how I've decorated it. So I have been working pretty hard on this house for, gosh, probably since uh, September, probably before, like, before we moved in, before we, like, finally finished all the paperwork, just because I'm one of those people that I feel like I need to visualize, like, where my things are going to go inside of a home. And while this house did tick some of the must-haves for our, our, you know, home our first home list um, it didn't tick all of the must-have boxes and so I was kind of concerned with um, with the home itself so I felt like a way for me to to see if this was something that would work for us was to go into the sims and like create our space and then once I did that and I was like okay I think we can make this work if we have these things in place um, after I did that and my husband and I closed on the house, I ended up going back in and I have probably decorated this house over like three or four times at this point. Because as I said before, the proportions for Sims 4 are not realistic. So there are some things that I thought would work for the space um, and it, we, it turns out that it's not going to work for the space. This I feel like is probably as close as we're going to get to what I was hoping for for our home. Okay, so let's start off with the first floor. And this is pretty much how the house looks um, as you kind of go in. Obviously, it's not exactly the same. I only had so much to work with when it comes to CC and uh, what was already in The Sims game. So some of this is just a representation of what the house looks like. Um, but when you walk in, the first thing you do see is a staircase. So that staircase will go to our second floor. And then you see what will be our living room. Initially, I'm going to go over here to this corner so I can kind of show you guys the room. Initially, the far wall that has the uh, gallery paintings on it right now, we were considering putting the TV up against that wall. However, there is a vent that runs through that wall, so we weren't able to mount the television to that wall. Currently, our TV isn't even mounted, so... <laughs> Currently, this is kind of how their, our setup is going to be. Because of COVID, we don't have a couch right now. So we are waiting for a couch, but um, the couch that I'm using in CC, all the CC will be linked about, down below. But the couch that we are using is representation, is like a good representation of what we've bought. It's the same color, not really the same style. I couldn't really find a good style um, in this like pretty gray color. But the credenza underneath the television is almost exactly what we have. And we also have this white Ikea table that has a, uh, it like rises up so that you can, you can eat or you can work on your laptop, however you, you know, however you want to use it. It's really nice. We currently don't have anything in this area right off the door, but I did want to have like a little spot for check yourself in the mirror before you answer the door, have um, a little place to like put umbrellas and things like that. And I also have this um, console table that I would like to put underneath our, our big windows that are at the front of the house and put like some plants or some, some personal knickknacks on there. And we also have this giant wall next to um, our entertainment center setup. I used um, these shells from the new pack, the Snow Escape pack, and I really like the look of them. However, I don't think that this style would suit the style that we might be going for for our home. I do like the idea of staggering shelves maybe photo ledges or floating shelves across this wall to show off um, personal knickknacks, photographs, things like that. 
And I do like the idea of having some plants and candles in here as well. We also have a little bed for Padme. And as we enter towards the kitchen, I did decide to use this. It's actually much smaller in real life this wall is. We probably wouldn't have as many uh, paintings and photographs up here, but I would like to make this a gallery wall. So as we head towards the kitchen, we actually have a half bath right here. And currently this is uh, basically what it looks like minus the over the toilet storage, which I hope to put in someday soon. <laughs> right now it's just not a priority, but um, this is basically what our half bath looks like. It's very small, but very cute and very functional. I'm so glad that we have it. We also have a little entryway closet here for like coats and things. Um, I did go ahead and put the, uh, the little coat rack in here. And then we enter our kitchen. Currently, our kitchen doesn't exactly look like this, you guys. So this is kind of a dream. Uh, I don't want to say dream kitchen because it's not, you know, most people when they think of a dream kitchen, they immediately go to Pinterest and have like a beautiful either modern farmhouse style or a modern kitchen. Um, this is what I would imagine our kitchen would look like with some updates. So I'm going to quickly go over those. As you can see, we do have a back door to our kitchen. And this is primarily the door that we use um, daily because our, our car is parked behind here. So when you walk in from the back door to your left, instead of a counter space here, there's actually a refrigerator that originally came with the home. Um, we do have a dishwasher beside it and everything else for the most part same layout. Um, we did add a kitchen island. Very uh, Almost as soon as we moved in, we added a kitchen island um, from Ikea um, to this space because there was simply, if you look from the dishwasher on, there's just not enough counter space with the amount of cooking that I did pre-COVID. <laughs> um, unfortunately, COVID has done a number on my mental health like everyone else. Um, so I'm not cooking as much as I used to, but the plan was at an island to kind of take that overflow of cooking and meal prepping. To the right here from the back door, I've got a large refrigerator tucked into this corner next to the pantry. We have a refrigerator here as well. And this was our original refrigerator that I purchased um, for our rental home. And it's much larger. It's, it's just all around better than the original refrigerator that came with the home. The plan is, is to eventually update the kitchen, take out the old refrigerator, and hopefully put in a new counter space and, and a, a full-size cabinet if possible. That may mean replacing all the counters and countertops, but that's not something we have money for right now. It's just like I said, it's it's a dream. It's it's an idea. It's inspiration. On this side next to the refrigerator, currently, we there is nothing there. It's just all blank. And so I was thinking, what if we put in some open shelving? What if we put in a nice bench to, you know, store shoes, take off shoes? We live in Missouri and we do have a winter here. And that means snow and slush and ice. And I thought this would be a perfect place to store like snow boots and things like that. So that's kind of what I was thinking. And I also added this little shelf above Padme's food bowls because I felt like that would be a good place to put keys, to put her lead, put her collar, things like that. That. Like when we go outside for her to take her out, to take her for walks and things like that. Yeah, again, it's not like the exact representation of our kitchen, but we also have this wonderful pantry right here. And so I added some shelves. These shelves, I do believe, are CC as well, but I just added in some shelves to be representative of what should be there. Now we're going to head upstairs pretty quickly. And once we climb up the stairs, we have this small landing and, uh, Oh gosh, it's, the walls are glitching pretty bad. Um, we did take the time to repaint um, some of the rooms in the house when we first moved in. So we painted the entire living room a, a white to kind of brighten up the space and make it seem larger because it does feel kind of small. And I wanted to accent some walls with black. And a friend of mine made the suggestion of painting this back staircase wall black and hanging some original artwork. And I loved that idea. So we did take the time to paint that back wall black. So when you first come up the landing, I do wanna go ahead and point out we've got a linen closet here and it's not wanting to show off, but I did place some shelves in there um, just to show that it's a linen closet. 
And uh, the first room we have up here is the office. Now, this is a complete dream space. As you can see just from behind me, this is a completely different layout than what we currently have. So the idea is, is that we would kind of put our desks side by side instead of across from each other like we have currently. And we would put them up against this back wall. So that's the plan. Um, we also have a closet because this is a bedroom. This is going to be Alex's space, this first desk. Um, and I just kind of accented it with um, some open shelving. He does have figurines that he would like to display. And I think it'd be great to like have some books of his up there, some figurines, and maybe a couple of boxes for storage for files and things of that nature. And then over here would be my space. I would obviously have a slightly different setup because I would need lights um, for YouTube, but I just kind of wanted it to be open, airy. I wanted it to feel good. I wanted you to be able to go into this office and feel like you could work. Behind my desk on the opposite wall, I have three bookshelves. Currently, I only have two uh, Billy bookcases from Ikea, but I've been dying to add a third. Um, and I think it would look lovely on the wall next to the door. I also have a bed in here for Padme. We've never had a house that was um, two stories before. And I genuinely feel like we should purchase her a couple of more beds just because of the way that life is right now. I spend a lot of time in the office. Not only is my personal setup here, but so is my work computer. And then at night when we go to bed, currently she's sleeping in the bed with us. But I would like to give her the option of having her own bed because she gets annoyed with us. <laughs> she has uh, so much personality, but she definitely gets annoyed with us at night, especially if one of us is restless. So as you can see, there's a bed in here, there's a bed in the living room, and when we get to the bedroom, there's also a bed in there. Back out onto the landing, we have a full bathroom. Oh my goodness, the glitching is real. Let me see if I can back this up and make it look a little bit better. So this is pretty accurate to what the current bathroom looks like. Um, not color wise. Currently the, the bathroom is a beautiful gray color. I don't have any plans of repainting it. We do have a shower tub combo and we've got a lovely vanity. We also currently have an over the toilet storage and it looks like, I'm not sure if I just didn't add it or if I forgot, but I initially, in all of my reiterations of this house, I had put open shelving above the toilet. And I still would like to do something like that, some open shelving. So if we're heading back out of the bathroom into the bedroom now, the bedroom is actually pretty large and spacious. It's definitely the largest bedroom I've ever had before. Um, when you walk in, it also looks like it's we're missing the television I put in here. Next to the flowers was a giant television because un unfortunately slash fortunately we have a giant television in our bedroom um, with us not having a couch in the living room currently we spend a lot of time in the bedroom chilling out reading books um, watching television playing video games there it is I don't know I don't know if tab like makes it go away or what's going on but there's the television so as you walk in we do have a dresser pretty close to the door here obviously we bought this dresser when we lived at the old house and it fit the space just fine and right next door we also have um, a large closet um, it's not a walk-in closet but it's just very long so Alec and I both have room for our clothing which is nice currently so this is the bed situation we have in the sims in the bed situation in real life we do not have a bed frame or a headboard. Currently, it's a box spring and a mattress sitting on the floor. <laughs> um, due to COVID, it's been very difficult to purchase any furniture. When we moved out of our old house, I thought it would be best to go ahead and donate slash give to friends slash sell on Facebook Marketplace. All of the furniture that Alec and I had agreed did not fit our style would not fit our new house and we thought if we get rid of it now we will have to move it and we'll just get new stuff that we love and we care about um unfortunately because of covid um we've not been able to purchase those things so currently no bed frame or headboard so this is very much a dream space we also have non-matching bedside tables um, that we hope to get matching ones someday. But the color scheme is pretty accurate. All of the walls in the bed in the main bedroom are white, except for the black 
painted wall behind the bed. So I do want to hang up some artwork or maybe do some floating shelving above our bed and hang like um, wedding photos and things of that nature just to make it feel more like us, make it feel more like home. And we also have a nook over here. I'm just going to go over here to this corner real quick where we've got Padme's third bed. And uh, we have this wonderful little nook. Um, when we toured the house the first time, the original homeowner had a beautiful chair, like a little slipper chair back here. It's actually much larger in real life than it is in The Sims, but due to sim constraints, I couldn't really portray that. So currently, the idea is to have a, my vanity set up back here with some open shelving slash storage for any closet or dresser overflow for myself. And now before I get to the basement, our basement is not finished. In fact, it's just um, a washer and dryer, um, exposed water heater and all that good stuff, as well as some shelving for storage. So what I'm about to show you is a dream renovated basement. Our basement does not look like this, I promise. Okay, we have descended the stairs, which were right next to the pantry. And we are down in the basement right now. Now, when you first walk in, oh, we're missing stuff again. Let me tab out. Okay. We were missing a few things, so I had to fix that real quick. Um, when you first walk in, this wall um, that has the the little cute counter space with like the snack uh, gadgets on it, that wall is currently blank. Um, the wall that has the projector TV from Movie Hangout has um, loads of storage shelving for various things. I think right now we have like coolers and like holiday decor on them. And we also have this small little nook um, towards the back that is currently open. And we have our washer and dryer in the same place. Dream would be, um, prior to having any children, would be to have a wonderful space to come down, play video games, watch TV. Um, the living room would be more of a I don't know if you want to say formal living room. We would obviously still use the space. And I thought it would be fun to add in a couple of countertops and like some snack gadgets and a, a cute like fridge for like drinks and things. Would it look like this in real life? I don't know. I don't know what how much this kind of stuff would cost for a renovation like this. But I thought it was fun just to dream. And I did add a little heater down here for um, from the from the newest pack, Snowy Escape, because I thought it would be cute to like this is where we snuggle up and watch TV. So we have a little heater down here to, you know, keep it warm and snuggly. And so if we head towards the back here, we're just going to head over here to the laundry room real quick. Currently, we don't have a laundry room. It's literally just laundry, just sitting down there in like this corner area. So I thought it would be cute if we walled this off and put up some shelves, hung up the ironing board. And then next to the closed off laundry room, I really, really want a workout area. So I added in a few things I felt would, would be awesome for a home gym. I added in some free weights. I added in this barbell. This is all, this is CC, not the treadmill, but the barbell and the weights are CC. Um, and I put a mat underneath. I also added these wonderful full length mirrors so I can watch my form. I felt like a treadmill was going to be the most bang for my buck. So I added in a treadmill as well as a small TV screen so that I can tell myself, okay, we're going to watch a 30 minute Netflix show. We're going to do 30 minutes of walking. In the dream space, I would like a couple of bulletin boards, number one, to track progress, and then number two, to keep up with my exercise routines. All right, y'all, so that was the tour of our real-life home, reimagined in Sims 4 with um, how I hope to decorate our home one day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little all over the place and not exactly the kind of content that I usually put out. I do hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, I do want to say a special thank you to my patrons. If being a patron is something that interests you, of as always, the link is down below. I hope you guys all had a very happy Thanksgiving if you're from the U.S. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.